Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your love short for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Sag. Let's see. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Sagittarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right. Let's see. Four Wands. Very nice, Sag. Successful completion of a project, redirecting, redecorating your home, redirecting something. I don't know. Um, whatever it is, you could have a good relationship right now going. It could be um, new home, real estate. Um, you could be around a lot of women too here with the four wands. Um, I don't know. Um, every time I see the four wands, I, I think of a lot of women. The king of wands, yep. You're around a lot of women and you out here. You're doing your thing. You're getting a lot of love. You're getting a lot of attraction. People see you. You could be tall, dark, handsome. If you're not dark, then you're just tall and you're handsome. Um, you know it. You've got a lot to offer. You aren't settling down. You're just out here. You're doing your thing thing. The sun card. It could be somebody new that comes into your life that brings you a lot of happiness and contentment. They're like the sun in your life. They have a lot of joy, a lot of positivity, a lot of radiance. Somebody could be pregnant. If not, it's just happy times, fun times for you right now. The ace of swords. Um, it could be. It could be that somebody could be pregnant. Um, it could be just that there's a new energy here, okay? Uh, hang in there, wait and see what this turns into in terms of the Ace of Swords. It says that right now your mind is sharp, it's clear, you, you got clear or clarity on something, especially with the Sun card and the Ace of Swords coming up. Um, maybe you couldn't see through the fog or your mind was, was cloudy or was your judgment was cloudy, but now... Um, you have crystal clear vision in terms of uh, your thought process. Everything is adding up. It's coming to a place of um, calculating or recalculating something here. It says that your mind is so sharp right now that it could be causing conflict in situations or relationships that you're already in because no longer are you at a place of uncertainty or not being clear or no clarity or n no sober thinking you have the page of pentacles here it seems as if you're taking on a healthier lifestyle or you want to do that now healthy lifestyle can mean so many different things for so many different people so whatever it means to you let it mean that to you it could be eating it could be drinking it could be running exercising um it could be not engaging in um you know, uh, alcohol, drinking, smoking, whatever. But it seems as if you are studying something new, studying to be new or be renewed or do something new, new lifestyle, maybe even tarot, divination. Um, it's just about you practicing something new. Also meditation, something with the earth here. I don't know, you're getting more grounded, more centered, or this is what you're striving to be or be like with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords here. I mean, in the page of pentacles here it says that um maybe in some connection here there's been a false start and there's been no progression because it was a false start at best you know it just wasn't it wasn't real it's was false therefore there could be no progression here the king of cups could be dealing with a libra if it's same sex it's a libra man here you know the kids of pisces scorpio um Okay, so somebody who's really balanced in their emotions here, somebody who keeps exes around just to feed their ego or keep a lot of energy around because they can handle a lot of different personalities, a lot of different emotions because they are the king of emotions here. Um, it doesn't phase them. Um, it actually feeds to their energy, feeds who to, to you know, to who they really are innately. Um, king of cups here some of you focused on business business aspirations especially if it's something you do creatively if it's something that you create it's something that you um, make with your hands or it's something that you do i don't know you're focused on business 
Oh, so you can't read somebody here. Somebody can't read you here. The Hermit card. It seems as if you're separated from someone. Or there is separation. There's There, there was a whole ghosting type of situation. Um, somebody's going on this whole spiritual self-discovery journey. Looking at past relationship, past history here. The Hermit card access to... Look at the past here and determine how we want to interact in our present and in our future. It's about asking yourself, does your personal philosophy work for you? Has your altruistic nature been a detriment to you? Are you altruistic only to a certain extent? Are you giving unconditionally or is it conditionally? The Hermit card just adds, it says you're looking for answers outside of yourself, but the answer is really within you. The Ten of Pentacles. Some of you don't know if you want family life, if you want a family, if you want legacy. It says happy, organized people build empires. If you're not happy, if you're not organized, then no empire, no legacy. You need to be those two very base things to build it, legacy, empire. It says that if you're already in a commitment, relationship, marriage, you're staying in it just because you may have nothing in common with your person, but you are dedicated to seeing it through, seeing the legacy through. You took an oath about, and you want to see that through. You're dedicated to that and not the person. So that some of you are spending a lot of time at home to the Ten of Pentacles, or you should spend more time at home. Some of you are investors. Financiers, CEOs, bankers, something of that nature where you're in some real big money. You could be marrying into money or you have money or someone wants to marry you because you got money. The tower card, something all of a sudden, a sudden upheaval and then the world. And suddenly some relationship kind of breaks down because the tower specifically goes back to the seven, which is um, relationships, business partnership, marriages, interpersonal collect, co connections, uh, equality. Something went right and it kind of gets shifted and broken down to a place where it then turns into the world where we have to either close this cycle out, this chapter out completely and start something new or we're going to start a new elsewhere and we're not taking any of the old with us because this is a new cycle in life. I don't know, some of you could be getting some money and you just feel like, fuck everybody, okay? I ain't taking none of these people with me. I don't care for none of my family. I don't care for none of these old people. They can't go with me. I want all new everything, okay? What's the advice for the Sagittarius? <laughs> the Six of Swords. So move on, okay? Leave past heartbreak from previous relationships, heartache, all that shit behind. Leave that self-sabotaging part of you behind. When you get to a place of feeling less than or you, things aren't going to go your way, you just sabotage, leave that shit behind. It doesn't work for you any longer. Intellectualize, rationalize moving the fuck on. Does it just make sense? If it does, do just that. Move on. Either you're moving on together or you're moving on without this person. But move on to stay, to stay stuck or stagnant is like a slow death. So do move. Keep going. Keep the transition flowing here. Sagittarius, if it works for you, um, if it resonates for you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go over to the website. Book your own reading there. You can also ask a question by texting your question to the number below. You could buy me a coffee. If you took something from the reading, give something back. Buy me a coffee. The link is below. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.